Chapter 4 The Skeletal System Learning Objectives 1. Our Skeleton and Its Parts 2. Joints and Ligaments 3. Muscles and Their Types 4. Working of Muscles Let me answer. The skeletal system is our body's central framework. It consists of bones and connective tissue, including cartilage, tendons and ligaments. What is the other name of the skeletal system? Parts of the skeleton The skull, the vertebral column, the ribs, the limbs, the girdles Our skeleton We have 206 bones inside our body that are connected together to form a framework called skeleton. The bones of the skeleton are organized into a skeletal system. The skeleton has several important functions. It provides support and the basic shape of the body. Without skeleton, the body would be a shapeless heap of tissues. It protects the soft organs of the body. The skull protects the brain and the ribs protect the heart and lungs. Muscles are attached to the bones. Muscle and bones are worked together to move the parts of the body. Bones also contain bone marrow, a fatty substance which forms blood. Bones also contain minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Parts of the skeleton The skeleton consists of five main parts. The skull The skull is made up of eight flat bones. Most of these bones are locked together like a crossword puzzle. The skull gives shape to the face, it protects the delicate brain, it also protects the organs of sight, hearing, smell and taste. The eyes fit in the eye sockets. The facial region has 14 bones. The lower jaw is the only movable joint of the skull. This enables us to talk and eat. The vertebral column The vertebral column is made up of 33 small ring-shaped bones called vertebrate. It runs from the base of the skull up the hip region. A type of tissue called cartilage is present between most of the vertebrae. It cushions the bone and acts as a shock observer. The vertebral column encloses and protects the spinal cord out of 33 vertebrae. The first seven are present in the neck region. The ribs. There are 12 pair of ribs. They are all connected to the vertebral column at the back. Ten of these ribs pair are connected to the breast bone called the sternum. The sternum has a flat bone in the middle of the chest. The last two pairs of ribs form a kind of cage called the rib cage. This rib cage protects the heart and lung. The limbs, the arm are also called four limbs. Each forelimb has three bones. The upper arm has one bone called humerus. The lower arm has two bones called radius and ulna. The wrist and hands are made up of many small bones. The hind limbs are the legs also have three bones each firmer or the bone thigh is the longest bone in the body. The lower leg has two bones called tibia and fibula. The ankle and toes also have many small bones. The griddles, the forelimbs and the hind limbs are attached to the griddles. The forelimbs or arms are attached to the pectoral griddle. Each pectoral griddle consists of a shoulder blade and a collarbone. The hind limbs or the legs are attached to the pelvic griddles. The kidneys and the urinary bladder are protected by the pelvic griddle. Joints and ligaments The most of bones are connected to other bones. The place where two bones joins together is called a joint. Strong bands of tissues called ligaments hold the bones together in a joint. Ligaments are strong but they can let your bone move. Types of joints There are two kinds of joints in our body. Immovable joints These joints simply connect the bones. They do not allow the movement of bones. Movable joints These joints allow full movement of bones. These are four types of movable joints. Hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint, gliding joint, hinge joint. A hinge joint allows bones to move in one direction only. Knees and elbow are formed of hinge joints. The movement of hinge joints is similar to the movement of a door that opens on its hinges. Where else in our body do you find hinge joints? Ball and socket joint. In this type of joint, one end of the bone is round like a ball. This round end fits into another bone which is like a socket. In almost all direction, this joint is found in our hips and shoulders. Pivot joint. The pivot joint is between the first and the second vertebrae of the backbone. 
The skull is connected to the first two vertebrae of the vertebral column with the pivot joint. It allows the rotating movement from side to side gliding joint. This joint is found between the small bones of the wrist and ankles. It allows sliding movement. The movement allowed is the simple gliding back and forth or sideways. Muscles Muscles in the body cannot move on their own. They move with the help of muscles. The human body has more than 600 different muscles. Most of them are attached to the bones with strong fibers called tendons. The tendons help the muscle in moving the bones. Types of Muscles Voluntary Muscles these are the muscles which are under our control. They are attached to the bones. You can control the muscles in your arms and legs when you run, walk, jump or swim. Involuntary Muscles These muscles are not under our control. They work without our thinking about them. Our stomach and heart have involuntary muscles. Types of Muscle Fibers Muscles are made up of cells called muscle fibers. There are three types of muscle fibers. Striated Muscles Fibers All voluntary muscles attached to the bones are made up of the striated muscle fibers. These are also called the skeletal muscles. They have dark bands running across the muscle. Smooth Muscle Fibers Most involuntary muscles have smooth muscle fiber which are long and narrow at the ends. These muscles do not have bends. Organs of the respiratory and circulatory system are lines with the smooth muscles. The smooth muscles can work for a long time without getting tired. Cardiac Muscle Fibers The heart is made up of the cardiac muscle fiber. They have bands similar to those found in striated muscle fibers. Like the striated muscle, they work quickly and are powerful. These muscles do not get tired. This is why your heart keeps strong day and night. How do muscles work? The body moves because of the action of muscles which are made up of muscle cells. The muscle cells are unique because they are the only cells in the body that can contract or shorten and relax or lengthen. When a muscle cell relaxes, it returns to its original size. This ability of the muscle cell to contract and relax cause movement in the body. These muscles work in pairs to cause movement. We can keep our muscles strong and active by regular exercises and a balanced diet. Facts to know. Your bones consist of 50% water and 50% solid matter. When you were born, you had over 300 bones. As you grew, some of these bones began to fuse together and now you have 206 bones. Let's recall. 1. The skeletal system gives shape and support to the body. 2. The meeting point of two bones is called a joint. 3. The muscles attached to the bones make the movement of the bones possible. 4. Voluntary muscles are under our control whereas involuntary muscles work on their own. Word Power Bone Marrow Soft fatty substance found inside long bones. Pelvic Girdle An anatomical structure found in human. Pectoral Girdle The set of bones which connects the upper limb to the axial skeleton on each side. Socket Circular movement of the joint. Unique Being the only one of its kind. Train your brain. Cross curriculum connect. 1. Answer the following questions in short. A. Define the following in one line. 1. Manure. 2. Skeleton. 3. Joint. 4. Floating ribs. 5. Tendon. 4. 6. Skull. 2. Fill in the blanks. A. Bones are held together at a joint by a tissue called dash. B. A fatty substance dash is present inside certain bones. C. Ribs not joined to the breastbone are called dash ribs. D. The skull is made up of dash flat bones. E. Dash joints allow the rotating movement from side to side. 3. Answer the following questions. A. What are the functions of the skeletal system? B. Differentiate between voluntary and involuntary muscles. C. What is a joint? Explain different joints present in the body. D. Differentiate between ligament and tendon. E. Differentiate between three types of muscle fibers. 4. Tick the right and cross the wrong statements. A. The biggest bone in the body in thigh bone. B. The skeletal system gives shape and support to the body. C. The meeting point of two bones is called a joint. D. Our body has 309 bones. E. The ribs form a kind of cage called rib cage. 
5. Multiple choice question A. The hinge joint allow bones to move in dash 1. 1 direction 2. 2 direction 3. 3 directions 4. 4 directions B. The skull is made of bones dash 1. 6. 2. 5. 3. 9. 4. 8. C. A soft fatty substance found inside long bones is called dash 1. White blood cells 2. Pus 3. Bone marrow 4. None D. The vertebrae contains how many bones? 124, 234, 233, 430. E. The skeleton consists of how many parts? 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, 3. 6. Give one word for each one of the following. A. Arm, legs and fingers have which type of muscles? B. Heart and stomach have which type of muscles? 7. Match the columns. Column A. A. Involuntary muscles. B. Total muscles. C. Movable joint. D. Adult body. E. Voluntary muscles. Column B. 1. 206 bones. 2. Under our control. 3. 600. 4. Not under our control. 5. Bleeding joint. Activity time. Make the following parts of our body and locate the joints. 1. Knee forward and backward hinge joint. 2. Neck sideways pivot joint. Hoods. 1. You have a skeleton inside your body. But some animals have the skeleton outside their body. What is it called? How is it different from the skeleton inside the body? Name some animals that have this kind of skeleton. 2. Why walnut is considered to be an excellent brain booster? 3. What would happen if your limbs have ball and socket joint? Project Time Visit your biology laboratory and request the teacher to show a human skeleton. See the skeleton and draw it on a chart. Label its various parts.